Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Nora's Code. You guys, today we are going to be doing my budget once again. Um, I know a lot of you have followed me because of my budget and quarantine hit and like that was that. Um, for those of you that are new, I'm a self-employed hairstylist. I get paid cash daily. Um, people use their cash app, all those forms of payments. Um, but during the pandemic, I was out of work. So for a while there, I did not receive any income. And then finally, um, the government allowed for self-employed gig workers to receive unemployment. So my unemployment kicked in about May. It has taken me <laughs> basically two months to kind of get into a form of how I budget the check that I get. So let's get into it. Now, this is gonna be my new budget planner. This is a Motown cover for an A5 from Motown. I think I said that. And I haven't finished setting it up. I'm waiting on a few things from cloth and paper. So it's gonna look a little janky, but we're gonna get right on into it. So I did do a little bit in June, as you can see, nothing major. Um, but let's get into July because I don't want this to be too long. And I'm just gonna take these pages out. These are the stickers pretty much that I'll be using, if at all. These are from my shop. These are the finance stickers. These are the do arrow stickers. Uh, and it's like a oops, so I'm using it for myself. Some of you may not see the oops, but I do. And these are the squares, the individual squares. It's also an oops. I like to use the oops um, because they don't bother me. And then this is not really an oops, but I just grabbed it. It's finances. And then here are some bill due stickers that I have. These are an oops. You don't see it. I do. And also I'm going to be changing my logo on this. So we're going to use that. Okay, you all. So um, again, we will be doing a series on Mondays. So every Monday you can look for a video. It's going to be Monday, Monday, excuse me, Monday, Mondays, money Mondays. So anything money related finances, you'll find it here on Monday for myself. I've actually put out this um, icon sheet from one of my um, my July kit. I'm going to use these boxes and I'm going to use some of the icons to help me to remind me of the things that I need to do. I'm always looking for my gold stickers, can't find those. So we're just going to get started. So always on the first or the second, which I haven't noticed, but my Amazon comes out and I haven't seen it unless it's coming out of another account. And then my CMP, that's my cloth and paper. Um, that's usually my budget planner, but I still put it here. Uh, I'm gonna use these do. And I do have some inserts and I will be showing those too, just momentarily. So we have the Amazon and CMP on that Wednesday the 1st, which we're already into the second week of July. Um, also, I'll be doing a monthly and then I'll be doing a weekly. Again, I'll be doing my weekly budget. Um, let's see what else we have. I'm just gonna run through this real quickly, put the things down and then we'll talk about it. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to come back and pop in real quick to explain some things and how I like to use this kit. Um, well, not this kit, but my stickers. So I like the do stickers just as a reminder of certain things like here, Amazon, CMP, that doesn't necessarily need a balance. I kind of know that kind of off of the top of my head. And I actually have two CMPs now, so I definitely want that as like a an alert okay and then i can use the amount and if i'm correct but those two it's like 72 dollars i think it's 76 i'm gonna put 76 there and i'm going back and forth between two pins and then with the squares my idea for this was things that were automatically withdrawn i can just use the square sticker put it on the date 
that that bill is due, that lets me know that that's an automatic withdrawal. I have a lot of automatic withdrawal. You know, some people don't like that, but that works best for me because I don't like my account to be in the negative. So I'll know that this brings an alert to me. Now you can use these in, as listing, anything you want to do, you can use it for checkboxing. Um, I just like to find, if I love it to highlight calendar days. That's just what I like to do. Um, now I'm going to go on this icon sticker sheet and I'm going to get the car. It's my reminder that this is my car note. I have two of them, but this will be the first one. And then I'm glad, see, and I like to look at the icons because it helps me remember uh, what is due. And I'm looking for the credit card on the July kit. It may not be on here, but it gave me a reminder. So on the 17th, I have two credit cards due. So I'll pull out a due. Now with these credit cards, um, the balance is, I mean, the minimum amount is very low. So I'm gonna use the due sticker because I can, I've always paid more than a minimum. So that's Barclays and Citibank. And then on the 15th, another one where um, the minimum is very low, which is my Capital One. And I almost have it paid off. I mean, I could have paid it off, but I just didn't want to. <laughs> I had intentions to, but I just didn't want to give them all my money. So I'm going to put Capital One here. And I think I am going to pay that off this month. By the 15th, I think I should be able to pay that off. So right now, this is how my bills are looking for the month. Over here, um, I'll write my goals. I'm waiting to find my goal sticker. As soon as I find my goal sticker, I'm gonna stick it here and I'm gonna put my goals. That'll be something that um, you all will see later. And normally my goals is like to pay off, um, I'm just gonna use this here. I'm gonna put the, the goal sticker there. Um, pay off Capital One. So right now, and I have other goals, but financial goals, so I'll do those later. So I'm going to add this back, and then we're going to get into the other part of the budget. Okay, you guys, so I was thinking, like, why am I putting it back? I need to use it as reference to do all the things. So this is like my weekly check-in. I had this insert in my shop. I wanted to tweak it, so I took it out. But if that's something you guys would be interested in, interested in I'll put it back. So this is kind of what I did in June. So let's just take a weekly check-in. And when we get ready to do monthly, we'll break down the monthly bills. So we'll have that in check soon. So I got my weekly check-in and I do like this insert. Like I said, I just wanted to tweak it. I didn't feel comfortable after I looked at it. I'm like, it's good enough for me, but I don't want it, to, you know, someone else not to like it. I'm very critical of what I put out. So this week we are the 6th through the 12th. And so let's see what we have to do. We really don't have anything to do this week except for um, the car note, and that's on the 11th. And it's 181.60. And then what I'll do here, um, when I do get this back together, I'll let you guys know how this works, but this is the day that it's due on the 11th. The bill due is my car note from the Navy Federal Credit Union. This is the amount. And this is, if I paid it, I'll just put a check. Um, if the amount is different, then I'll put down the amount that I paid. Here you put in the week number. You can do week, some people like to do week 25, 36. No, I like to do July 6th through 12th, but you make it yours. Down here, you make notes of anything else extra that's going on in that week. So I'm gonna work on this and I'll try to have it up in the shop. Um, I'm trying to look to see because I feel like I'm forgetting something this week but if it comes to me i'll jot it here i can come back later and put it in so oh you know what my cell phone my cell phone bill is due on the 21st 
So I'm glad I kept that out. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, when it doesn't really have a certain amount, I'll just use this do sticker to kinda alert me that you need to pay something. I do have an amount to pay, but I'm gonna break it up. 21st, we have T-Mobile. And this is kind of how I like to budget. <laughs> um, this works for me, even being self-employed and even doing um, unemployment, because I get my unemployment check once a week, this works for me to weekly look at my budget. And I believe when you constantly look at constantly look at your budget, you're more in tune to what you're spending, what's coming in, what's going out. You kind of know what needs to be taken care of as a reminder. So normally the check comes like on Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm gonna put down on the eighth that I'm gonna pay T-Mobile. And I want to give them $200 because I'm kind of behind in that again. And then on the 8th as well. Oh, God, I hate to see my check go. I'm going to do, I owe a another ticket, parking in my grass. And they gave me a ticket right when the pandemic hit, which I thought was awful. So, and that ticket is $100 and on my own property, which is crazy. So, and then I, because of the ticket, I have a flag fee of $30. And then I got a speeding ticket the other day. Ah, so I'm going to pay, I'm going to try to pay the flag fee on the 9th. So that's it. Um, so what my total is, sometimes I'll total up at the bottom, but I leave this open because you just never know. So I don't really put like a total here or there. That's why there's no total. And that may be something that I want to add. So for right now, my total. So the phone rings. So we know we have uh, two, three, four, 481 plus 30 is 511, I think. Let me double check. I think it's 511. We'll put $511. That is what is due for the week. I only get $766. That doesn't leave me a lot of money. So that's what we have for the week. So I'm now I'm going to put everything back in. I can't wait to set up this planner with you guys. Um, I actually have another one of these coming. And I may just sell it. Or I don't know. So this is what I'm going to do. I know all my rings aren't in here. That's because I started taking it down. And realized that um, the back part didn't go in. So now I'm going to stick this on the other side of my planner so there we have it this is what i so i'll come in here and look at this also i'm thinking about putting one in my um pocket planner that way i can just kind of look at it um matter of fact i need to make a pocket size so i can look at it and carry it with me and that way i know what is due but that's pretty much how i plan um my week um budget my week rather so again stay tuned because we will be doing more where we're getting back rather into our finances and our budgeting. Um, I'm excited because I will be honest with you guys, budgeting really helped me through the um, pandemic because now I didn't have a lot saved, I will say that. But because I had started being more serious about my budget, paying things off on time and early, it just made things so much smoother. So my bank didn't mind letting me have an extension because they saw I paid my car note on time. There was a time where I would forget, just forget to pay my car note, blow the money, and then they come to get my car. And I'm not ashamed to say that, but now I'm so, per I'm, you know, glad that I'm in a better space and a place. And I just don't play that about my car note no more. And I just pay my bills on time. So definitely let's get back into this budget. I'm going to show you guys how I'm managing this unemployment check. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Don't forget, we'll be here every Monday for Monday, Mon Monday Mondays, <laughs> Money Mondays. Every Monday, you can catch it here at Norris Cove. Uh, we had a flood in our house last night, so I couldn't get the video up Monday. But <clears throat> every Monday, we'll be here, okay? And I hope you'll come back and join me. If this is your first time joining me, please hit that subscribe button. Come back for more. Hit that um notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.